I can hear the Word of God spoken it goes down into my heart produces belief and begins to change me into the thing it says the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying word my name is Andrew Hemsdrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us now I have a liberty here in a church that worships the Holy Ghost I have a liberty to say things that can't be said in other places in a big way I have the ability to preach and teach whatever I want mm -hmm. that's part of the Liberty a lot of churches you can't because well they'll kick you out and I'm therefore not limited by many of the limitations that are placed on other preachers because they can't go outside of their limitations right mm -hmm. so I am unlimited say I am, I am. Unlimited. unlimited correct me if I'm wrong you choose what you put in your mouth is that right or wrong mm -hmm. That's right. no it's your mouth say it's my mouth. my mouth you choose what you put in it or what you don't put in it mm -hmm. it's your choice yeah. right yes. likewise you choose what you put in your ear mm. what do you mean i'll put in my ear like a one of those q-tips or something no i mean what you allow to go in your ear it's your choice meaning you can sit there and allow things to go into your ear that are not benefiting you you should how would you shut that off you go away you turn it lots of times for us we just turn it off mm -hmm. hopefully so you choose what goes in your mouth you can also choose what goes in your ear if you're not making that choice well then shame on you it's really still a choice mm -hmm. well I can't choose what goes in my ear it just well that's a lie stop lying <laughs> Luke chapter 4 verse 21 and he Jesus began to say unto them this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ear so here we have a principle of god say a principle of god principle. that the scriptures get fulfilled by going into your ear mm -hmm. are you here yeah. this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ear what scripture well here we could go back and he said you know he found a place in the book of the prophet Isaiah and he opened the book and he found it where it was written mm -hmm. right so it would literally be that scripture but the principle still applies can you hear that mm -hmm. the principle still applies that the scripture is fulfilled in your ear what scripture is fulfilled in your ear the one that was spoken yeah. you can't it has to be a spoken word of scripture otherwise you can't hear it this isn't that difficult is it the scripture is fulfilled in your ear is the one that you heard which means it was spoken Revelation chapter 2 and then verse 7 says he that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith the Spirit is saying things and you have an ear to hear what the Spirit says what spirit the Holy Ghost is saying things and we know that the scriptures are literally what the Holy Ghost has already said mm -hmm. so the ear that Jesus here is talking about and the Holy Ghost is talking about is an ear that hears the spoken Word of God mm -hmm. can you hear the not spoken Word of God no that would be the silent Word of God that wasn't spoken so you have to hear it yeah. you know that's what ears are for mm -hmm. hearing things 
so it's your choice say it's my choice. my choice you choose what you put in your ear just like I said you choose what you put in your mouth you choose listen this is important you choose what you put in your ear I choose to hear the Word of God are you here mm -hmm. don't get mad at me I choose to hear the Word of God on prosperity you know a lot of people don't choose to hear that what do they do they turn that off they don't want to hear that mm -hmm. but I choose to hear it mm -hmm. I choose to hear the Word of God on healing Amen. I choose to hear the Word of God on youth renewal mm -hmm. I choose to hear the Word of God on glory and glorious living say glorious living. glorious living are there any words concerning that yeah. Yeah. I choose to hear it it's my choice mm -hmm. thus prosperity scriptures are fulfilled in my ear mm -hmm. maybe not in your ear maybe not in other people's ears but prosperity scriptures that I choose to listen to are fulfilled in my ear healing scriptures are fulfilled in my ear mm -hmm. youth renewal scriptures are fulfilled in my ear mm -hmm. the scripture that i say in here is fulfilled in my ear it's full filled say full, full. Filled. filled there is a full fullness that other people don't participate in because they refuse to hear it mm -hmm. but you are called to fulfill all scriptures mm -hmm. how can you get mad at me for this you are called to fulfill all scriptures which means you have to have them in your ear acts chapter 3 verse 19 repent ye therefore and be converted have you done that mm -hmm. if you haven't you need to do it mm -hmm. repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord say the presence of the Lord the presence of the Lord what Lord the Holy Ghost because he's the one that's present that's right. and he refreshes you mm -hmm. verse 20 says and he shall send Jesus Christ verse 21 whom Jesus the heaven must receive and literally means retain the heaven has to receive jesus and retain jesus until say until, until the times of restitution of all things or restoration of all things which god has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began mm -hmm. we are called to fulfill all things spoken did you see that whom the heaven must receive jesus has to stay in heaven until the times of restitution of all things which god hath spoken say all things, all things. which god, god. Hath, spoken. hath spoken what are the things god hath spoken scriptures mm -hmm. promises right yes. have to be fulfilled well how are they fulfilled we already read this this scripture is fulfilled mm -hmm. in your ear yes. say in my ear. in my ear which and that's why he said spoken these things were spoken now they have to be fulfilled in your ear is this too difficult no. second peter chapter 1 and verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture what are we talking about prophecy of the scripture the scriptures mm -hmm. right is of any private interpretation verse 21 for the prophecy of the scripture came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of god what spake, spake. say holy men of god, god. spake as they were moved by the holy ghost so all the scriptures are by the holy ghost and they've been spoken already by holy men of god mm -hmm. right why spoken you say because in order to be fulfilled where are they fulfilled in your ear say they are all, they are all fulfilled, fulfilled in my ear. my ear 
so the scriptures are the spoken word of God did I get that across yes God. that happened to be written down and we are called to fulfill all things spoken mm -hmm. and how are they fulfilled in our ear all right you, you're staying up with me on this okay. every word of God spoken has the ability within itself mm -hmm. to bring itself to pass in your life it has the ability in it each spoken word of God contains the ability the faith and the power in itself to bring itself to pass that word is what goes in your ear goes on the inside of you and begins to bring itself to pass are you here this is a great message I love this message why because it's not really that dependent on me other than I have to be willing to take that Word of God and hear it yeah. to take that Word of God and hear it at which point it becomes fulfilled fulfilled you suppose any of us have ever walked in the fullness the full fullness of any one of these verses of Scripture no every Word of God has the ability in itself to produce the very thing that it said in the hearer in the hearer God chose the ear as a mechanism for the kingdom of God God chose the ear first Corinthians chapter 1 verse 27 but God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty God hath chosen mm -hmm. the foolish things God chose the ear as a mechanism for the kingdom mm -hmm. have you ever really looked at an ear <laughs> pretty silly looking isn't it it's a small thing it's a foolish thing it's something that frankly you don't even notice on most people until you do notice it and then you can't not notice it anymore mm -hmm. I'll go days and weeks and months without even noticing that people have ears mm -hmm. but then when I see them I go those are some pretty strange things you've got those stuck to the side of your head there's are you here maybe you're not getting this the way I'm trying to get it across they're a silly little thing aren't they mm -hmm. God chose a foolish thing get this straight you are not special you know that doesn't fly in most churches does it mm -hmm. because you want to go in there and I want the pastor to tell me how special I am mm -hmm. come as you are because you're so special now get this straight you are not special you however are specialized as a person you are specialized animals may often have better hearing than people do you know this right mm -hmm. i'll hear things you didn't even hear you got a cat and you're like why are you looking over there at the floorboard because mm -hmm. they're hearing something you didn't hear they just have better hear but they don't hear this they can't hear what you can hear the spoken word of god is something that you are designed to hear and you hear it with your inner man on the inside i'm specialized say i'm specialized. I'm specialized to what to hear the spoken word of god and it'll do something to you that nothing else will do what will that spoken word of god do to you that nothing else will do the thing that it said if it's a healing verse of scripture you hearing it will cause you to be healed if it's a prosperity scripture you hearing it will cause you to prosper if it's a youth renewal scripture you hearing it say me hearing it will cause your youth to be renewed is this good news yes. I am specialized I can hear the Word of God spoken this is my special ability this is how I'm special I'm so special I can hear the Word of God spoken it goes down into my heart and produces the thing it said 
produces faith produces belief in that thing said and begins to change me into the thing it said it begins to come to pass in my life i don't know how mm -hmm. because it's not coming to my mind it's coming to my inner man it just does mark chapter 4 verse 26 and he jesus said so is the kingdom of god mm -hmm. as if a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up what's it say he knows not how the kingdom of God will work with you not knowing how it works That's right. you just have to do the thing that it says to do mm -hmm. which is to hear the word until say until, until until it begins to produce in you and you don't know how I can't tell you how many times this has worked for me mm -hmm. where I will say a verse of scripture and I'll just say it and I'll say it and I don't think anything is happening but I don't have to think anything is happening where did it say you have to think something's happening it doesn't but I continue to say it say I continue to say it, I to say it. until I finally hear it and it gets down on the inside of me and begins to produce but you sleep in your eyes night and day and the seed springs and grows up you don't know how so you have to continue to say it and go to bed well the holy ghost is god in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words the process that you begin listen the process that you begin by saying his words his words the holy ghost's words begins a process in you that will produce all of the kingdom and fulfill all of those things which you thought couldn't be fulfilled in our day but they are beginning to rise up in you and you'll know the way and you'll know what to say as you step forward into the greatness of the things of god in this last day you are a mechanism of the kingdom i want a glamorous message well you might miss it then how many times jesus talk about the seed and so are sowing the word this is not glamorous but you are a mechanism of the kingdom we talked about your ear and it goes down into your heart you are like a dirt farmer not glamorous is it mark chapter 4 verse 20 jesus said and these are they which are sown on good ground such as what hear the word mm -hmm. these are on good ground such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit some 30 fold mm -hmm. some 60 and some a hundred mm -hmm. these things may not be glamorous but you know what is glamorous 30 60 and a hundred fold mm -hmm. what's glamorous is what this kingdom produces in you and for you that's what's glamorous not you it's what these words that you've heard produce for you are you getting this mm -hmm. this works for anyone who will work it it makes what is produced in you special what is glamorous is the prosperity that it produces the youth renewal that it produces the glorious living that it produces in you you have the innate ability to hear and believe the spoken word of god it just happens it happens listen it just happens what do you mean it just happens romans chapter 10 verse 17 says so then faith cometh say faith cometh, faith cometh. how you say how by hearing and hearing the word of god how can you hear the word of god it has to be spoken right. who's around you 24 7. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. you and your mouth mm -hmm. faith cometh it just cometh well i don't know how you don't need to know how what you need to do is have the word go in your ear and a specific word 
really just one word is all you need and it'll produce that thing said you have the innate ability to believe the spoken word heard you might not have believed it at first but you kept saying it and you kept saying it and you kept saying it until belief began to arise on the inside of you totally change your life and make your life glamorous and glorious i hope you're hearing this <laughs> some people would like the glamorous life first thessalonians chapter 2 and then verse 13 because when you received the word of god which you heard of us which meant what they had to have said it mm -hmm. they received the word of god which you heard of us you received it not as the word of men but as it is in truth the word of god mm -hmm. which effectually works also in you that believe say it effectually works effectually works what's effectually mean it has an effect mm -hmm. it has a positive effect it begins to produce what it said in you that believe and like i said the belief comes the belief comes with the word itself the word effectually works in you what part of you is the part that believes your mind your body your body doesn't believe anything unless you pinch it and it believes in pinches how about your mind your mind just kind of mentally assumes things are true or not true it's your spirit man the real you yeah. say the real, me. the real me do you think as a born again person that you don't believe the word of god you believe what god said that's where you live right and faith comes by hearing goes through that mechanism into you mm -hmm. the real you say the real me the real me that's the spirit man and faith comes by hearing it just comes by hearing faith is another word for belief say it this way belief, belief. Comes, comes by hearing, by hearing. The word works in you effectually if you believe belief comes by hearing i don't think you got it yet say belief, belief. Comes, comes by hearing. By hearing. By hearing are you saying that if i hear the word of god enough that i will believe mm -hmm. yes because the belief comes with the word itself yeah. is this good news yes. Yes. i hope you're connecting dots here if faith and belief comes by hearing is that true mm -hmm. let's just decide right now whether that's true or not mm -hmm. the bible says in romans 10 17 that faith comes by hearing and hearing mm -hmm. so you might have to hear it more than once mm -hmm. <laughs> right the bible says that right mm -hmm. true or not true? true that's true so if faith comes by hearing then there must be faith in the word itself where'd the faith come from oh i just believe no you can't just believe it had to come from somewhere where did it come from the word of god god released it in his word when he said it his faith say his faith. his faith that's where you're getting the faith from it comes from his word and it comes into you belief mm -hmm. from hearing say belief, belief. Comes, from comes from hearing where does the hearing come from saying this is not that difficult so if faith and belief comes by hearing there by hearing the word of god there must already be faith in the word of god itself and like a seed into soil that seed has all the dna and all of the things that it needs to reproduce itself right yeah. the seed is a container of all the genetic code to produce itself if it's prosperity scripture what will that seed produce corn 
no the seed the seed is specific to the thing that it's going to produce so if you refuse to hear the word concerning prosperity guess what that prosperity word will produce nothing but if you hear it say if i hear it, I, hear it. I can have it well how are you going to hear it you got to speak it you got to say it somebody's got to say it you say it you hear it and it produces itself in your life the soil is you is your heart is your spirit man where it grows say where it, where it grows. grows what that word it is fulfilled it that word that word concerning prosperity that word concerning healing that word concerning youth renewal that word concerning glorious living will produce itself mm -hmm. in you i'm beautiful <laughs> because of what i have growing in me you understand yeah. seems kind of funny huh but i'm the same dirt as you are the difference is i've got this working in my garden and when you realize that you are not special a whole world opens up to you because you're not dependent on you being special what's special the word and the seed that you are able to plant in you mm -hmm. contrary to most churches where they want you to know that god loves you he loves you the way you are and i'm not saying that god doesn't love you and you're so unique you're so special you go down that road and you're gonna miss what i'm saying here strike all of that you're not special you're a dirt farmer you're just dirt what's special is your ability like everybody else to hear the Word of God and have that word grow in you to one degree or another Jesus said 30 60 100 fold right mm -hmm. and when you realize that you are not special everything opens up to you can you hear it mm -hmm. everything opens up to you this power opens up to you to change your land and everything in it yeah. thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people that they've heard this word and this word has gone into them says the Spirit Lord and it shall cause a change one change just a small change but it's a shift of great significance where they will know their specialness comes from me and the things that I have said implanting in them my kingdom that shall arise and grow to become greater than all of the other things of the earth for this is the day when my people my church shall stand forth in the fullness of the glory of God as the waters cover the sea and all of the Gentiles shall know that I am God on the earth today and we thank you holy ghost for it in jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost holy i worship ghost you you have shown me how to sow your word and reap your kingdom i thank you that i am blessed beyond measure and greatness belongs to me in Jesus' name, amen. The Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today.